welcome to the Mad About Toys podcast, starting a new segment here on the channel called Deal Reveals. We all do it. We all pass up collectibles that uh, are now on sale and we think are worth picking up. So that's what this segment's going to be about. Uh, what deals did I get this week, this month? Depends on how many deals I get. It will be how often we'll have one of these episodes what deals are worth talking about and this week i got three deals that i think are worth talking about and showing off so let's do it let's get into it here's deal review in at number three from the power rangers king sphinx i don't know shit about the power rangers i watched maybe the first season the very first season way back when but uh that's about it um, no knowledge on this guy whatsoever. Maybe we'll hit up Google and take a look. But I just thought it was an awesome looking action figure for a great deal. Um, regular, I think I've seen it in Canada here at Toys R Us for $39.99 for the most part. But it was on sale at Winners for $19.99. So great deal for this hunk of plastic. Let's crack it open and see what it's like. I watched one review, Anthony's Customs, and he absolutely said this is a piece of shit, not worth uh, 20 or 30 bucks that he paid for it. So let's see if it's worth 20 bucks to me. Let's do it. Like I said, I don't know anything about this character. So Google, who is King Sphinx? According to Villains Wiki, fandom, King Sphinx was a pharaoh-like Sphinx monster created by Finster on Rita Repulsa's orders and a villain in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He could send away other beings with his wings. He also wields a scepter with a gold question mark on the end, which emitted flaming question marks. All right, now that we got that out of the way, here are my thoughts on the figure. Great figure, especially for 20 bucks. It was 19.99 is what I paid for it. I just saw it on toysrus.com for 49.99. So, that a bit steep for this figure, but for what I paid for it, it's a great figure, absolute get, no doubt about it. Um, Hasbro forgot to paint the face, so I went and um, did some shading on the face here, just a little wash and made it look so much better. They forgot to paint the nose as well, so I put some black paint on there, and it did wonders. Also on the wings, hit that with a wash and did absolute wonders for this figure it looks fantastic it's gonna look great on my shelf i'm gonna throw it in with my ninja turtles i just saw somebody post on instagram that the pumpkin figure from power rangers was also on sale at winners for 19.99 so the hunt's on this week see if we can uh, get that add that to a future episode of deal reveals in at number two marvel legends three and three quarter bullseye got this at winners for a great price $7.99 they retail here in canada for $19.99 let's check this guy out and here we go bullseye in the small three and three quarters and the package looks fantastic i don't really collect these figures i just have spider-man they did have a bunch of them but i'm not going to get into these they don't really seem to be selling that well most of the shelves in Walmart or GameStop are pretty stocked with them, minus the Spider-Mans and Venom, but I'm a big fan of Bullseye. I just started collecting Marvel Legends prior to the uh, Netflix Bullseye coming out, and I was unable to get that one, and now it goes for a ton, so I'd really like if Hasbro made a new 6-inch Bullseye. And before they stop making these 3 and 3 quarters, Please, please make a Deadpool. All right, in the number one spot of my favorite deal of the week here. I've wanted this figure for about a year, and uh, it was just a little bit out of my budget. Coming in at $79.99 for the most part. GameStop, you can get it for $71.99 with your, uh, your membership card. Still a little bit out of my price range of what I wanted to spend for this figure. But Toys R Us had a sale. They've been jacking their price up big time. And that's probably so that they could lower it once they put it on sale. They're the only company in Canada that has these kind of sales. 25% off, 20% off. GameStop, Walmart, they don't do that. So they have a little bit lower of a price. 
uh, Toys R Us has jacked the price up so that when they do have these 25% off, it'll come down to a little bit under regular retail price. But this figure uh, was at Toys R Us for $79.99, and I got it for $63.99, so I was very happy to get it for that. Should be a $50 figure, and I think that's what you guys paid for it in the U.S., but that is Hydro Stomper. Oh, what a beast of a figure. So excited to check this out, so let's do it. And here we have the Hydro Stumper out of the package. And this is a great figure. Fantastic figure. I still think he's only worth about 50 bucks. 60 max. McFarlane's Mega Figures are selling for $49.99 in Canada. And I think that's what this guy should be selling for. The backpack piece comes separate. You plug it in. And it looks really good. He lacks paint, just like King Finks figure does. Uh, could could work for some dents and some shading. Would go a long way on this figure. But overall, I really, really like this figure. And really looking forward to taking some pictures with him and Captain Carter. Anybody that saw the episode of What Ifs. It was a pretty awesome episode. But that'll do it. For my first episode of Deal Reveals, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll tune in for the next one. Please, please hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, notification, all that good stuff. And have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. All done the video.